Hey you guys, um, I'm back. It's been a long time, I know, but I wanted to just get into the video that I promised everyone that follows me and I definitely appreciate you for really taking interest in my college journey. So um, now I'm actually in the Swainsboro campus of East Georgia State College. I know I said that I was going to Georgia Southern, but um, change of plans. And um, I decided to go to the Swainsboro campus because it was much more affordable. And also, um, I just I decided to go ahead and get my degree from East Georgia. I want to walk across the stage with a political science degree and a communication arts degree. And then um, the goal is to, um, you know, network, of course, gain scholarships and apply to Georgia State University or Georgia Southern University. Um, I have two more semesters left before I graduate. Right now I'm taking two summer classes, which is integrated science and world literature. And so I'm trying to get like back in the focus, like, you know, summer is like so fun and like focus is hard, but I'm trying to maintain it. Um, so in the fall, I'll be taking like seven classes and then I'll be taking the remainder classes that I need to graduate with my degrees in the spring and walking across the stage. I'm declaring and decreeing in Jesus name <laughs> and I'm so happy. Okay, so what's been going on with me in school is I just basically um, have been in like different events like I did um, the talent show Apollo night open mic night and the beauty pageant so I mean all of them were very successful in the Apollo night I came in first in talent show I came in second and in the beauty pageant I came in as first runner-up I took home the talent award um, community community star award and uh, Miss Congeniality and it was just a good you know a little scholarship thing to do I had a lot of fun the picking the dress was like so like surreal like I was like I don't know what to do so I was looking up like pageant dresses and everything and you know pageant hairstyles everything like that because I've never done a pageant it was my first time so it was fun I did not take home the crown but I took home a lot of the awards so I had a lot of fun and I got a scholarship um I was taking like this political science introduction to political science and it was like cramming me it was squeezing me and tugging me and it took a lot of my time so I never really had time to like you know record but since I've, I'm free and like I'm only taking two courses I kind of have enough time to record some things which I'm going to do much more in the summer so um I'm actually working with my mom right now with her child care so I help her out with events and things like that and I help her out with um, the field trips that she takes her children on in, in, during her summer camp and I'll probably vlog some of those and show you all some of the things that I do. Um, but yeah, I didn't really vlog a lot or take videos or like keep you updated because you know, I was really busy and I never had time to pull out my phone. So, you know, things happen. But what I will do is insert a few videos and pictures of, you know, the events I was in and people that supported me and things like that. So I'll like give you all a glimpse of how busy I've been and how much fun I've been having. Um, there were a few ups and downs, but it was more ups than it was downs and I thank God for that. I applied for an RA position because I live um, in dorms. So, you know, it was just... It was an adjustment for me and I'm learning more about myself. I'm learning that I'm going to need to get an apartment when I graduate and go to Georgia State because I don't like dorms. I don't do dorms. I like my own space. I like my own privacy. I don't like too much noise. I like things the way I like it. And so I believe I should, you know, live by myself.
or with a relative, something like that. Someone that, you know, I know loves me and cares about me genuinely. So that's just me personally. If you're thinking about going to East Georgia State College on the Swainsboro campus, um, I say be prepared maturely, mentally, um, because it's a lot of ignorance there. Um, keep your eyes on the prize when that you're there to graduate. Um, also, the events I did, I got paid for them when I won. So if you have a talent or voice, whatever, I say get into the events because you win money. And you know, I didn't get hired for the RA position. I didn't get hired for the business office position. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what they're missing, but they're missing out. But, um, yeah, I say do that because you get coins and you're going to need that. I don't say rely on coins or worship coins, but we need them to live. And so that's probably an, a, a hustle that you can do. So that's been my hustle is just writing poems and writing monologues and performing them for the school and getting money for it. And so God blessed me in that way. And I do thank him for that. He blessed me in so many ways. He blessed me with a scholarship for winning first runner up for the beauty pageant. So I definitely, you know, am so thankful because all the work that was put in. I couldn't have put it in if it weren't for him. And I couldn't have made good grades this semester if it weren't for him. Two Bs, three As. Um, I'm working on two more As. I made a C in, in statistics for May semester, which is a two week class. So it was very fast paced. So a C coming out in math for me. <laughs> okay. But yeah. So that's where I'm at. I'm figuring things out as I go. I'm not making plans, I'm making goals. And so, you know, things have been, you know, going better for me. I've been more mature spiritually. Um, so, you know, you live, you, you grow, and that's what's been happening. And I thank everyone who really like took the time to like re watch my video and actually follow me, you know, cause a lot of people follow Howard University students because they're at Howard University and they kinda wanna get a glimpse to what it's like but once they graduate and you know they move on to better things or if like they transfer to schools they lose a lot of followers so I definitely respect those that understand that it's more than just the name of the school it is more so about the journey and how you make out that journey and so I thank you. If you have any questions, if you want any tips, um, another video on school tips, you know, things like that, I can hook you up. I can hook you up. Just ask me and I'll reply. It's just that simple. So thank you all. Um, this is very short. I'll get more in depth with things when I get home. Right now I'm waiting for my sister to pick me up. I'm actually at college right now at the AU campus. And, um... Yeah, this is this is AU, Augusta University. So I'll be here during the summer. So if anyone wants like a little tour or something like that, I can hook you up. I can do that. Just let me know in the comments below. Um, so yeah, I'm actually in student life. Um, the little building for student life is cute. Um, they have a game room up top and things like that. I would take you there. But my sister's on the way, so and my bag is right there. Um, but yeah, over there, I believe it's like the science building. That's the science building. And then they have um, all of their events and things um, on the court. Over here. Ooh, the door scared me it open. But over there, you can't really see it. But um, they have like a little field where they have all their events and things. This is the student life and engagement office. So that's cool. Um, I said I wasn't gonna leave my bag, but you know, I'm looking back and walking, I'm looking back and walking. So um, I got 20% left on my phone. I can't do it. This is the um, cafeteria. Uh -huh -huh. And that way up those stairs, that is where um, the game room and things are. But I'm going to go ahead and charge my phone. And then after, so get involved. I love it. Look, these are the homecoming kings and queens in order. She is beautiful, honey. 
but yeah so let me know and I can go more in depth with you guys this is my outfit look at my little shoes it's fashion retro simply tan <laughs> um and I did my makeup and my hair and um, if you want to know anything, I'll conclude this video and just let me know. Give me feedback. How did you like the video? How did you like the little talk? But I do plan on going more in depth when I get home. So, holla at me. Bye, you guys. <laughs> ah! Hey, you guys. So, I remember saying in the last portion of my video that I would be getting more in depth when I got home about the events and things like that, and um, I didn't. It was Sunday. It was rainy. It's been raining all week, and that's not a reason for me not to record, but it's just been very hectic, I'd say, and the rain had a lot to do with it. But I do thank God for the rain. Beautify the earth, Lord. Do what you have to do. Thank you. But, um... Yeah, so instead of going on and on and babbling on and on about what happened, what didn't happen, um, instead of going in depth, I decided to just post a few clips from the beauty pageant and, you know, another event like the talent show or whatever. I don't have a lot of clips on the talent show on the Apollo night, but I do for the beauty pageant, so I'll post that. And I also found another video of me trying or attempting to do YouTube videos back when I was in college during the semester and it just didn't work out for me so I'll go ahead and get into those videos but firstly before I go on I would like to say thank you for watching and God bless you and yours if you are watching this whatever it is that you're going through God will get you through it and I just want to thank you for watching it also, I want to thank God for allowing me to utilize my voice when it comes to talking about my experiences or whatever the case may be. I just thank God for giving me a voice and the fact that I'm able to utilize it. So, for this portion, I've been talking too much already. I've been talking to y'all for 10 minutes. I bet you're like, what? How did I even make it this far? But thank you. So, <sighs> Without further ado, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Get, get into it. Let's slide into it. Glide into it. Let's get into it. Get, get into it. Hey y'all, so it is May 14th and it is like 
one o'clock in the afternoon and um i don't know if y'all can see but i'm like all over the place i'm packing up uh school let out last week actually and i stayed for main master with the statistics class and it's very annoying but i'm just gonna do it get it over with and be done okay um so right now I'm just like kind of throwing away like all the classwork I'm not going to need and I'm keeping all of the assignments that I did and testing exams that I took for political science because that is my major and that is the stuff I'm going to need. Definitely, definitely, definitely got to keep that. Um, so um, I'm trying to finish my statistics class by thursday of this week i just got done with one through three and i have to do section five six eight tomorrow and then thursday 10 and 12 and i'll be done then i have to take my test so i'm trying to get it finished we only have three tests and stuff like that so i might take my test on the augusta campus since they can't help us with the tests anyway so um also, I'm trying to get me a, I'm trying to start like this little practice test thing and get them to help me with it and then be done. So right now, process of elimination. I kind of got my little um, bin done, but slowly but surely after that, I'm going to do my, um, my little ornaments and stuff all over and just like kind of put a ribbon around like my posters and stuff like that and then keep my bed spread out because you know i gotta sleep on something and then after that i will wash dishes pack up my pots and pans and my food that doesn't have to be refrigerated and then yeah i'm gonna go get um dinner and then when i come back from dinner i will catch you guys unless you mm, i might take y'all with me um to dinner and show y'all around the campus because there's nobody here why not and yeah i'm here kind of by myself lonely keep myself grounded and balanced and focus on my studies um political science has been the biggest study for me at this moment um this semester i would say political science definitely is giving me a run for my money um i have a huge exam coming up for it and i have to start studying today when after my five o'clock class so yeah it's just been a lot on me but god has been working on me and with me and i can feel him working with me um i love him so much i do things and say things that i feel like i don't have control you know sometimes and i repent for the things that i that i feel like i've done wrong um things that i probably didn't know that i did but i did it I just always repent for it. So I just really want to be on good terms with God um, and really read the Bible. Um, things like that. Things like that. I know I need him. We all need him. And so this is this this is just a lesson. Life is a lesson, you know um i try to enjoy myself on the way on the journey um i try not to stress so much like i used to about getting my work done um i just let things you know i just take things as they come however god sends it you know I, I, that's how i take it and i um i just don't stress things the way i used to so i feel like that's an achievement okay so 
Yeah, I'm finna call my mom, actually. I'm gonna try to make time. It has to been me. a true experience. Um, I would like to say that I'm blessed to have a mom and a dad who uh, supported me this semester with money and groceries. So, um... Yeah, I understand that I'm a grown woman, and as we all are, I feel like even if I was to be a parent, I would do the same for mine. And I wouldn't want to hear, uh, I'm grown or anything, because as long as you're in school and you're doing good, I want you to, you know, even if you're not in school, like, I'm still going to support my kids. So, yeah, um... I would say that the true experience is the journey.